Hey folks, welcome to a new series. This is a new Let's Play where we are playing a game called Factorio. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the Let's Look At that will be coming out for Factorio. It should already be out by now. Uh, that's where we look at the game and sort of what you can do and what it's about. This is going to be our actual Let's Play where we spend some time uh, building our factory and getting, getting going. So the name of this game is Resource Collection so that we can build a factory and have it fully automated. Uh, oh, hang on. You have to excuse me. There is a cat, very happy cat in my lap for this. And uh, she's, she's squirming a bit. But anyway, so we need to collect resources so that we can start building a factory. So very high priority. We need to get some trees for wood so that we can start running our things. But we really need to start with iron production and stone production first. So here is our map. This gray stuff is stone, orange is copper, purple is oil, but that's going to be a while before we can use anything. Um, the black is coal. This lightish gray stuff is stone, and that's all. I, and this, these spaces generally mean forest. Um, it's interesting. We have a lot of stuff nearby, but none of them are super big patches of stuff, which could get bit more awkward once we start trying to do things. So here's a patch of this um, and we've got some stone right over here. We're going to need water so that we can build um, uh, our, our energy plant. That's the word I'm getting at. So first off we're going to trek our ass over here to the stone which I managed to walk past thinking about other things. So let's get build a box and we're going to get our stone production going right away because we're going to need stone for a fair bit of stuff. And while that is doing that, let's go collect more wood quickly over here. Once we get some more wood, we are going to build more mining machines so that we can get iron going because we're going to need a lot of iron. We don't really need a lot of copper right away, although it is a priority to get our energy up and running, our power grid. A lot of things are going to be sucking coal, but we want to try and transfer as much stuff to the electrical grid as possible. That way we're not having to shuffle around. Uh, we do have assembly belt technology that can transfer things around, but at this point it's fairly slow. If you saw the let's look at, there is a tech tree, although we are nowhere close to getting started for any of that just yet. Uh, so we will need copper to start work on our power plants, our steam generator stuff, but that's still a little ways away. Especially because one of the things we're going to need to do for it is sort of dedicate a coal area, which I'm thinking will be this. This looks like a great open area here to set up for our power generation. But before we do that, we are going to need a lot more mining stuff. And we have some of that, so I'm actually going to transfer this over here. Uh, let's put you there and we'll set this up right away. Put that in there, that in there. Gonna put more fuel there. Uh, and we'll pick up the stone so we have that. But it's gonna take a little time for this to start producing enough iron for us to uh, see here's our first iron plate. And we're going to need how many? Nine of those before we can make our next uh, mining drill and we're gonna make two of them right away maybe we'll make some transporter belts or maybe we'll just make more furnaces but we really need to get that up and running we can't really make much else until we have that so we're actually gonna come down here and manually mine some coal because coal there's a couple of different ways different kinds of fuel we've got lumber and wood that we've been using for fuel up there we have coal which is by far the most common for the majority of the game and then later, once we get our oil refineries and such up and running, we will have access to solid state fuel and solid blocks of fuel, which is produced from the various oil processing things. And that will be really nice. Burns really efficiently. Uh, but that is a long ways off. So it would be nice if we could get a mining drill set up for the coal, but our priority right now is really iron, because everything just uses iron. So let's mine, mine away. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. We're mining coal and iron too. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. 
and away. Oh, wiggling cat. And back up here. How are we doing? So we can make another mining drill set up. That's not what I wanted to make. We're going to hang on to it, though. Actually, I wish we hadn't. I really should have canceled that because now we need more stone and stuff. So this drill is going to go towards getting us more dedicated stone. For a little while, at least. We'll put some of our coal there. And if we mine a bit more of this, we should very shortly get up there and we'll, there'll be some iron and there'll be some stone and we can keep going. Uh, once we get, I'm thinking, two more drills set up, drills and furnaces set up to make iron, uh, some iron plates, then we'll go over and get one or two set up for copper. And because it will be a while before we really need copper on a very big scale, but if we can get that set up, that will be much quicker in setting up our energy. Because if we take a look at what we can build here, in order to build our electrical grid, we need some offshore pumps that will require copper and electrical circuits. That will pump the water out of the ponds. Then we need some piping, which is just iron, to actually get it to the electrical grids. And then it goes through these boilers, which will take coal, and into the steam engines that will actually produce it. And as you can see, all this stuff takes uh, some stone but a ton of iron and once we have that as well we're going to need some dedicated iron stuff to feed an assembly belt so that we don't have to keep running back and forth with our electrical grid but uh, we'll show you that once it starts coming up a bit more for now it's all about dim irons so we can build one more and a uh, good good so for those of you who haven't seen the Let's Look At or seen anyone else play, uh, this is Factorio. It is, uh, it's in alpha. It's a fun game. It is in alpha, so they are adding more to it. I believe there will be a patch very soon, but uh, that will make it more complex. Currently, there is no real end goal, if that makes sense. The current plan is like a placeholder, so that once you research all the tech, one of the buildings you can make is a rocket battery that's supposed to protect your more incoming colonists from the aliens on the planet. Uh, but as it is, it really doesn't do much. The point is just build your factory. And I put a lot of hours into this. It is really fun just building a factory, running stuff around. Eventually you do get robots who can help with tasks, whether it's building more things or running material around. But um, it is tons of fun. There are aliens on here. I don't see any on the map, so we'll have to point those out later once we find them. But the aliens will gradually attack your colony as you start making more pollution. Like if we go to the map and push the pollution button, this reddish that's coming here is pollution. And it will get a lot more red as we start setting up more things. And that will generally anger the natives who will start to attack, and you need to build defenses. But, um... You also need to go and attack the natives every now and then in order to build more advanced stuff. Some of the natives drop, when you destroy native bases, they drop what's called alien artifacts, and that is used to research higher tech to build higher buildings and more powerful stuff. So you do eventually have to go out there and start exterminating the wildlife, which, I have to admit, reminds me a lot of, like, Fern Gully. If you're too young to see Fern Gully, go watch it. You'll enjoy it. Or maybe you won't, because it's an old movie from, like, the 90s. But anyway, so we now have three drills and three furnaces set up pumping us iron. We're going to do, once we have the resources, which we do already, good, we're going to go over here and set up one making just copper. It's not super needed, like I said, but it's good to get a start on it now, because we can just leave this, and it will eventually create us... A ton of copper so when we need it we can run over although we don't have a lot of material there so we might have to come back and fill that up I just want to make sure this runs it looks yep there we go looked like it was set up weird so next we are going to set up a drill and just a box here to get us coal because as you can see we need coal for pretty much all this stuff to power it for now and then once that's set up we are going to take time and just save up materials until we can uh, until we can uh, make the the power plant that's what I'm going for here oh, I'm sorry there's a cat pawing at me now she wants attention look no you had attention 
we will make a video or something of you later. The internet loves that. Internet loves cats. Cats are very clearly the mascot of the internet. It is a thing. Don't question it. Don't question your cat overlords. But actually, what we are going to do is we won't pause. Uh, we will see this, but seeing as it's just going to be the real starting gathering, we are. I'm going to stop talking here, and we are going to fast forward a little bit through the rest of it. I know, you're going to love it. Okay, and we're back. We should have enough resources that we can start setting up our electrical grid. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I plan to have it coming out. Let's see if we focus out. Yeah, I'm good with this coming out this way. And that way, the bulk of our actual manufacturing can be up here. And if need be, we'll ship material further up over here or this way. Actually, now that I look at it, I think we're going to come down, even if it means clearing some trees. So we're going to come down here and start clearing off a few things. And while we're doing that, let's get two of these set up. Uh, one more of you, two of that. It should be good for now. That will help us plan things out. Okay. And we're gonna make these, so this is a mining drill that is electric. So it won't do as much good now, but it will help out once we actually get the stuff set up. We're going to ignore that coal. Maybe if we need it later, we'll come back to it. So we're going to we put that here. Uh, let's see. What is the best way to do this? So we have that like that. One, two, three, four, like that. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, what's going to happen here is we're going to have from that coal assembly lines coming down here and down the middle, and that will feed the coal into these boilers. That's, that looks like a good place. So we're going to go, we need more materials. One, two, one, two. That should actually be good to set us up for now. Uh, so we come up here, we are really going to need really just a lot more iron. Although we should grab whatever we have here. There we go. And we're off this way. Oh, let's get whatever coal we have. That way we can refill any machines that need it. Like this. There you go. Have some coal. You too. Enjoy your coal. Uh, and we can grab all this lovely, lovely iron, lovely iron. So what more of this do we need? We need, we can leave that for now, actually. So one, two, three, four. And then we really need a lot of that. Oh, and we're gonna need pipes. I forgot all about the pipes. So we'll set this stuff up first and then we'll run back and grab more iron. I really like setting this stuff up first. I know a lot of people who do a lot more setting up their iron but I feel like it's, it's, it's a bit of a waste because if you set up your iron production first, you're gonna have to go back and tear it all down to set it up for electric once you get that. And the electric mining drills take up a lot more space but do it much faster. So it does take uh, a lot more time. So I'm just trying to skip a few steps here to get us set up nice and quickly with our energy production. That way we can move along. I don't know how far this series will go especially because it takes a lot of time to do the things, uh, which may not necessarily be as exciting. So I hope you enjoy what little banter there is here. Uh, we're gonna need this and there we go. So we can start laying some assembly belt stuff. Let's see, are we gonna come in from here? Oh, and 
autosave. There we go. So let's. No, oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. That goes there. Okay. And then the other one will come that way once we get a bit more iron. For now, we're also going to need a lot of telephone poles. So we will probably. What we're going to do is we're going to do another fast forward section here as I run around madly to collect more materials. And go! Okay, and we're back, so we're making more piping, we have the materials, we should be able to set up our electrical grid. Oh, and we need to put more stuff in over here, sure enough. Let's grab what we have while we're here. Uh, and then uh, once we get our electrical grid set up, that should be the, the first episode. We're actually, we're doing pretty good. Uh, like I said, there'll be some fast forwardy moments here, maybe I'll find some fun music for you, who knows. Now, let's see. Oh, what is, what is happening here? Okay. Let's see. No, that's not what I want. We're going to take you down. And we're going to make another one of that. We need some more pipes. I'm just trying to finagle this to a degree so we don't need to come back and rejig things once we start adding more more power in. Let's see, can we make... Okay, we just have to make a few things and then we should be good to go. But anyway, we will call this episode here and tune in next time. Okay, we're going to try and very quickly finish our electrical grid here. So we have a few more of these. Excellent. That's a, no, I didn't actually want you there. We're going to put a pipe instead. Oh, that's still not what I wanted. Oh, it is what I wanted. Okay. And then once with a few more of these, and that is this system set up. And then we just have to go and make some more... Oh, we're going to need a lot more iron. So it's it's going to be slow. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. But this is sort of the main step here. Come on, build the last guy. There we go. Now we just have to run all the way back. And then we can set up our iron generation. Let's get a bunch of these starting to build while we wait. This is good. You generally, in this game, especially in the early... Uh, early game, you want to be always making something, because a lot of the things at the beginning, before automation, take a pretty long time to build. So it's pretty important. Oh, it's still only two of them, eh? Oh, this time we need more copper, but hopefully we have more copper. So yeah, things take a long time to build before automation. So you need to have stuff constantly building, especially science packs. There will be some fast forwardy moments where we just sit and build a ton of science packs. So that's making, we can get more assembly line going. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more assembly line as well. So we can build the rest of that. Let's see if there's any more iron going. Okay, a bit more, excellent, excellent. So, what is the best setup here? The best setup that we are going to use is pretty much this. And then once we have the assembly line, the assembly line is going to run right down here and connect. And this is this is a bit farther than I like. Normally I like trying to find a cool place like right beside the water. Makes everything a heck of a lot easier. Let's see. Um, that's actually not really what I wanted to do, but okay. It's all going to work out anyway. Just as soon as this stuff gets built. So, 
Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Come on. Oh, we're going to be just short, aren't we? Oh, good. We're still making, still making some. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we're actually going to have enough coal to start this whole process off, which is beautiful. So as soon as this last one gets set up, we'll run some electrical wire over to our stations. Uh, there we go. And sorry, kitty, hang on. So we run some electrical wire all the way down. No, come on, kitty. Just, just wait a moment. I'll let you out soon. And it's very important. We want to get all that stuff rigged up. So here it is. There's that, and then all we should need is a few pieces in there, and that starts it. Our electrical system will be pretty terrible, but once the coal gets flowing and comes on over, then um, that's all we need. So we are going to call it here, and this is going to be the end of our first Factorio episode. See you later, folks.